Hey guys, what's up? I'm Bryson Bennett, and today we're going to talk about the NBA. More specifically, we're going to talk about the Wizards and their potential Bradley Beal trade rumors. Um, is Bradley Beal going to be on the team next year? Is he going to be traded to another team? Uh, is he going to be signing the extension deal that Tommy Shepard has offered him? Um, how is the Wizards going to either rebuild or compete for a championship or just kind of be in limbo of how they've been playing the last two years. Uh, as a Wizards fan myself, it's been a struggle watching them the last two years. So let's go ahead and dive right into it and uh, see what I have come up with. After the season, the NBA released uh, three All-NBA teams. Bradley Bill was not on any of those teams. So that means technically he is not the 15th best player in the league. So with that being said, is the Wizards trying to rebuild or are they trying to win a championship? Let's go with the championship route. The last two years, John Wall has not played but only 72 games in two years. Yes, he will be out the entire year next year. But with the different trades that Tommy Shepard has done through adding different guys from the L.A. trade, by adding um, Jordan McRae from the G League, by adding uh, through the draft um, Rui Hachimura and Troy Brown Jr., now they have developed a lot of young guys, and they have a young core around them, bringing in some veterans like Isaiah Thomas and Bradley Beal. I feel like this team this coming year – could do something special, especially if Isaiah Thomas is able to play how he played when he was with the Celtics. And I think that can show Bradley Beal and the team that they are able to compete in the Eastern Conference and go in far in the playoffs like they did in the 2016-17 season when Washington lost to the Boston Celtics in Game 7 of the semifinals. Now let's go into the rebuilding phase. <laughs> Through having all of the young guys already on there, how is Bra how is the Wizards going to trade Bradley Beal away and get something far better in return? How are they going to trade somebody to either get another player that's just as good as Beal, if not better? Well, he's just outside of the top 15. In this article that I read, he is number 18 out on the top uh, on the list of best players. There's no way that the Wizards are going to get someone on that above him. So then you have to get someone below him and get a lot of draft picks. But based off recent drafts with Ernie Grunfield, they didn't do so well with draft picks um, and developing them. So now do you go through the draft or do you try to find a player to uh, find – what they can find in Beal and develop them and have this young team. My, me personally, I think going in the route that they're going, show Beal that they're able to win this next year, bring John Wall back, and then they're able to actually compete at a young level because any championship team, you, you have these two or three or four veterans that really can play ball. You have two all-star players, John Wall and Bradley Beal, and now bring in these younger all-stars, Thomas Bryant, uh, Mo Wagner, Troy Brown Jr., Jordan McRae. These guys can absolutely ball out when given the chance. Now let Scott Brooks bring this team together and be able to win a championship. I believe that they are able to keep this core that they have because they're not going to get anything better out of it. Like a couple of the trades from the Bulls, we are going to give up Bradley Beal, Isaiah Bonga, and Troy Brown Jr. for Zach Levine, Chris Dunn, and a bunch of first round picks, or future round first picks. But, and then you have the Heat, where they're wanting Wall and Beal. That's going to take away all of our All Stars, and it, we will be in a complete rebuild. And giving them to, to the Heat, you're not really going to get anything else in return to actually compete for them. So, I don't see why Washington would even consider trading Bill, and let's try to get him to learn to play how we are playing now and 
focused on trying to win a championship this next year and get that extension signed. So when Wall comes back, they have this young core and they're actually ready to compete for a national championship and go into the 2020 and 2021 season and be underdogs and show everyone that they what they have. Uh, leave comments down in the bottom and uh, let me know what you guys think about this trade. Should the Wizards keep Bill and do everything they can to keep Bill on their roster? Or should they trade him, rebuild, and get as many draft picks as they can in the next couple years and completely start from scratch? Let me know. Thanks, guys.